Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Okay, so this week it is officially October, which makes me so excited because it is the beginning of spooky season. Honestly, I've been celebrating spooky season for a few weeks already because um, I am not a fan of summer. Fall is my favorite. Uh, so I have a lot of great Halloween type paintings planned for us, including this week um, with a painting I like to call Spooky Tree. It's a uh, very, very simple, super customizable and great for a Halloween paint party if that's something that you'd like to do, which is how fun, right, for Halloween. Okay, so really simple. Uh, painting. I'm just going to be using three standard brushes. So I have a big square wash brush. I have a medium sized pointed sable brush and then a small detail brush. Going to get those in the water cup off the side of the screen. The colors that I'm going to start with today uh, for the background are going to be phthalo green, a nice bright yellow, purple, and white. Okay, so really simple. We're going to do this painting in two parts like we do for a lot of my paintings. Let it dry and come back and add the second part after break. Okay, so I have my water cup and paper towels off the side of the screen. If you'd like to see a full materials list of everything that you need uh, to paint along, go ahead and check the description box below. It'll take you to my website, to a materials page, and show you everything that I recommend. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're gonna start with our medium-sized brush and we're going to create a circle that's going to be the beautiful uh, moonshine. <laughs> beautiful moonshine. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a round, kind of pancake, silver dollar sized, just light, light yellow circle right there. And that's gonna be where we're gonna have our moon later. Okay, so that's uh, the moon lighting up the beautiful spooky night sky. So fun. All right, lovely. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this really pretty gradation. So that means we're gonna blend one color into the other. I'm going to start by just sneaking a little bit of that phthalo green, that beautiful teal color, into my light yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow and white here, just to make sure I got the right shade. And then we're going to go around our beautiful moonshine circle area. We're going to start blending these two together. Okay, I'm still using my uh, kind of medium sized, slightly smaller brush, but I think for the next step, I'll go ahead and upgrade my brush sizes, but whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. Okay, if you're feeling like you need a little bit more control, try using a slightly smaller brush. But for the sake of time and expediency, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my biggest brush for the next color. Okay, and now I'm gonna add just a little bit more phthalo green and a little bit more yellow. I do have a course all about color theory and how to blend certain colors. So if you'd like to learn more about that, go ahead and check the description box below as well. It'll take you to it. Uh, it's available on Skillshare and on Udemy. Okay, look at how pretty that vibrant green color is. I feel like that's very Halloween. And don't be afraid to go into the section before because so we're trying to get those colors blended together, right? But also if you end up with kind of like, you know, circular stripes, that's okay too. No worries because we're going to have a second little effect here with some brush strokes in just a minute. So now I'm going to be taking that same phthalo green, but this tone is going to be just a tiny bit darker, just in that it has less yellow. Okay, so very subtle color change there. And there we're about halfway or so, a little bit more across our canvas. And look at how pretty that is already looking. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out my big brush. I'm gonna take some purple now and add a little bit of white to it. Even though this is a night sky, we're using pretty saturated colors. And I'm going to take this purple kind of over here and work my way over to that green. Like so, keeping those brush strokes curved around 
that original circle. I'm using a boxed canvas today. Canvas board works great as well. For now, I'm just bringing the color to the edge of the canvas and then I'll go ahead and paint it with black later. Or just leave it as is or pop it in a frame. Okay, now we're going to blend a kind of an interesting color, uh, which is going to be our green and our purple mixed together. We're gonna get almost like a bluish purple tone. We're going to take that color right in between. And there we have our lovely Halloween gradation. And now it's just a matter of blending it. You do wanna work quickly with acrylic paint because it dries quickly. And a little bit of water is always gonna help that paint go nice and smooth. Okay, that's looking good. Taking that color all the way around here. Blending them together. No line of separation. Don't be afraid to get in there and blend it. And I'm gonna do a little bit of purple right in that corner, but we are gonna have our little horizon line down here. So don't spend too long uh, making this bottom part of the gradation too nice because we're just gonna cover it in a minute. Okay, now we're gonna do something really fun and kind of stylized. So that's already really pretty. I already really like that gradation, but what we're gonna do is grab our medium-sized brush again. And we're gonna kind of take these colors into the other areas, starting again with that same light yellow, but we're gonna be doing brush strokes now rather than that blending. Okay, and that really gives it that kind of like starry night effect. So pulling that out there from the center into the next section, okay? That's looking very pretty. And you can even bring it a little bit further down. So, very nice. And we kind of have all of our colors already here mixed for us. That's making it easy today, but mix up more, of course, if you need it. But kind of just going back through all of those same colors with this brush stroke technique, just laying down those curved brush strokes. You don't want to try to get too neat with this, all right? Let it flow, let it go, let it go. Oof, we won't do that. <laughs> I don't want to get a copyright <laughs> uh, hit on my, <laughs> my video here. Okay, that's looking good. But you do, you want to be loose and not worry too much about making like perfect lines, okay? So just kind of making everything look a little bit more stylized and fun. Take some purple now. Very pretty light purple and come over here. I think I'll go a little bit darker so that I got a little bit of contrast, even just purple on purple. You don't want to go too dark though, so you want to have a nice contrast with our tree later. Okay, just bringing that kind of all the way up into the other colors towards the center. Going all the way around into the green a little bit. Okay, that's looking really cute. I like it, it's so simple. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. Let's just do one more color here, which is going to be the purple mixed with the green. So that's kind of like a neutralized kind of grayish color. I'm just gonna add that a little bit here and there too. And that's looking good to me. Okay. All right, that's great. Let's go ahead now and let this layer dry and then we'll come back and add all the final touches. So I'll see everyone in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a dry background and I got fresh colors on my piece of palette paper. All I need for the second part of today's painting is a nice bright orange and black and white. So simple. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it. I'm going to grab now my medium sized brush again. Uh, I did clean my brushes and got fresh water at break as well. A Little bit of black now. We're going to create our horizon line. So this is gonna be sort of a slight curve up on one side and then we're just gonna flatten out and go off 
the side of our canvas here and then just come back and fill it in. Really, really, really simple. Nice solid line here, just like so. Okay, just bringing that up and making sure that I got some nice solid coverage. Easy peasy. Oh, if you are painting along today, I would love to see your art. And I've created a Facebook group called the Art Club specifically for that purpose. So if you'd like to join other students and just other artists and post what you're painting along with me or what you're just creating on your own, I would love to see it. We would love to have you. Okay, that looks great. Now I'm going to create my tree. And this is going to be like the trunk and branches of the tree and then I'm gonna let it alone for a second uh, to dry and then I'm gonna hop over, do my moon and we'll hop back and do our little full fall foliage on top of the tree. Okay, so still black and I'm gonna be still using that medium sized brush for the first part. And the first line here, I really like the shape of this tree because we're going spooky, right? So I'm gonna come up and it's almost like an S. Okay, and then we're gonna pull it all the way up and kind of pointing towards the moon or where the moon is gonna be. Very nice. And then it's gonna come right back around and sort of thicken up that base. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my smallest brush for these smaller branches just to give myself a little bit more control. And I'm gonna take a few branches kind of over here, but they're gonna all be curving in that same direction. And then I'll bring a couple coming off of the main branch as well. About like so, very nice. See how some of these branches are gonna be a little bit thicker. And then some will get real wispy. We'll do another little branch coming right from the center and we're loving the spooky tree vibes. Very cute. Really, you could do any kind of tree, but I thought that this kind of curved, spooky looking one was just perfect. Okay, so simple. Just gonna thicken this main trunk just a little bit more, but I'm really liking the main shape that I have here. So simple. Can't wait to see what everyone's trees look like. Okay. And just making sure I have a nice, clean, solid line. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna leave that tree alone for just a second. I'm gonna make sure everything is flat so that it has a second to dry here. Okay. I'm going to rinse that small brush and I'm going to now go into my moonshine area and create my gorgeous crescent moon. So all I need here is orange and I'm just going to do like a half circle, like so, a little bit further around than half of the way and then just come back and thicken it up. It was a hard decision to do an orange moon because I also thought like a light purple or light blue moon would be really pretty too. But I thought, you know, keep it spooky. Keep it Halloween. Tis the season. If you like this painting, you'll also really like, I think, a Spooky Night, which is kind of a, the same idea. It's like a different take on this. Um, but with different colors, a little bit of a different layout, and that one features a spooky house and some pumpkins, some jack-o'-lanterns, and I have some really cute other Halloween paintings planned for us as well. Okay, I'm gonna grab my medium-sized brush again, and I'm going to now just bring some gorgeous fall foliage onto the top parts of my tree. You want to be careful because your black is probably still a little bit wet, so you will kind of blend a little bit, but you can kind of let that work in your favor and just have it be like a shadow color. 
but you might also need to give it a second to dry because you don't want it to get too muddy. So look at how simple that was. So we're just kind of going along the top parts of our tree there. And then to add to the whimsy of this painting, I'm gonna do a few little <laughs> uh, brush strokes here to be this gorgeous fall foliage flying up to the moon there and a little bit of kind of like a curve. All right, and that effect really, I think, is kind of a less is more. Then we're gonna do a few little brush strokes here down at the base of our tree too, just to give it more of that kind of fall feeling. And I did start to pull up a little bit of my black there. So I just rinsed my brush real quick. And I'm gonna do just a few more little brush strokes of orange. So pretty. Okay, and then my little brush again for some final touches. Just gonna grab a little bit of my white. And I'm gonna do a little kind of highlight right here in my hill and kind of coming down and then accentuate the curves of my tree. Just taking some white and pulling it through there. You kind of want it to blend a little bit to gray. All right, just being very light-handed. Nice. A little bit of highlights on the curves just to finish everything off. Cute. <laughs> Okay, how simple was that? I can't wait to see everyone's paintings and believe it or not, that is all the instruction that I have for this week's painting. Uh, so I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of today's painting in the comment section below. And until next time, stay creative.